Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We're in the Moon Series in the last week of the Moon Series going into the Ultra Series next week which is super exciting but before we get there we're going to finish off with a few fun teams this week and the one that you voted for last Friday, thank you so much for all the votes, was this Mewtwo team so we're going to take it on to the Battle Spot again today. We featured it in yesterday's episode so if you missed that one and you want to go back and check out Game 1 in particular from yesterday, you can go back up here, put a card in for you and game one yesterday was a great way for us to kick off against a very good kind of solid Zygote Sogaleo with that Volcarona included in that call so very good and then we had a bit of a hiccup against a, a Rayquaza team that got to plus four so it was a good game but we're going to redeem ourselves today and get straight back into it so as always guys if you enjoy this sort of content, make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these daily battle series, as well as our guides, our Finchworth Circuit, our restreams, our Sword and Shield stuff that we're going to have coming out starting Monday next week. It's going to be so exciting, so lots of stuff to look forward to on the channel. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit sad about ending up the Moon series, but also at the same time, it's going to be really fun getting into the Ultra series. Been playing a lot of Ultra recently. And uh, we'll be playing Ultra on the stream this evening, so if you are around and you'd like to come across and check out some Ultra Series matches, we'll be playing on Showdown for the stream on Twitch tonight, so 7pm we'll be kicking off over on Twitch, it's linked down in the description if you want to check out the channel, so do come over, it'll be great to see any of you over there. But we've got a first opponent, so let's hop straight in. Very interesting core here of Sogaleo, Iveltal, Cortana, Tapacoco, Toxicroak, and... Incineroar. I said Toxicroak very very posh there, didn't I? Toxicroak. Um, so yes, we've got a very interesting combination here, the Eveltal and the Sogaleo. Eveltal gives us a hard time for sure, uh, especially with the Mewtwo. It's not the best thing to be seeing, especially the Tapu Koko there to override our Psychic Train, which makes it a bit more difficult and we're a little bit more prone to those priority attacks that it's known to carry along with that Toxicroak as well, but I, I definitely want to bring Mewtwo to this match, I think against the majority of other things on my opponent's team, it doesn't do too bad, it's just those two restricteds that we're going to need to um, to deal with a little bit better here, so what are we going to do though, um, let's think, we've got 30 seconds, Groudon, do I want to bring, yes, 100%, deals with the Sogaleo, Katana, the Incineroar, Tapu Koko, and the Toxicroak pretty well, so um, we just need to deal with that Eveltal. Maybe we go a Salgo this one. Could we go a Salgo? Tapu Lele, Groudon, Mewtwo. It's a weird combination, and I, I don't feel like... Oh, leaving Incineroar, though. Is that the best idea? Probably not, but let's go with it anyway. It's a fun week. It's a fun week. We're going to just do do stupid fun things and I think it can work without Incineroar as well we don't always need the Incineroar but it would be handy in this match of course with the Intimidate it's not going to affect the Sogaleo though but it does help us kind of get into those situations where you can bait in a potential superpower get Lele in in its place get your terrain back up and so on and so on we're going to see the Sogaleo come out with the Tapu Koko and we're going to lead and bring a Selgo for the first time which is very interesting. So there's the psychic terrain revealing that we're scarfed, which is uh, good information for my opponent. And then the uh, the good old psychic seed activating and activating that unburdened ability, giving Selgo plus two. Um, so what are we going to do here? Right, we could final gambit the Coco. That's a, that's an option. We could final gambit the uh, Sogaleo as well. We could struggle bug as well would be quite nice. Um, we can't acid spray the Sogaleo, but we could potentially... Uh, yeah, we could final gambit the Sogaleo. I mean, getting rid of the Sogaleo is, would be pretty nice. Um, let's just think about this, because we could double up into it with a Shadow Ball as well. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And Shadow Ball the Sogaleo. And if we get this, this would be great, because although Selgo's pretty cool, it'll be a brief appearance, and it'll do a nice job in the process, so we'll get the Incineroar in it is going to get the... We'll probably see the Sogaleo just protect here, I'd imagine no, okay so hopefully we don't proc a berry Ooh. bye bye Selgo, you did well no berry proc, so we'll be able to get rid of this Sogaleo, which is 
which is very useful for us. Now I'm thinking, hmm, it'd be good if we had um, our good old Incineroar to come in. We'll, oh, no, we won't bring in Groudon just yet. I'm going to bring in Mewtwo. That's what we want to bring in, because I want to switch Lele out to get it back in for the Psychic Terrain. And Groudon's a better switch in for Mewtwo on that Lele slot, because we could see a potential knockoff there. So, we'll get Mewtwo onto the board. Any Beltel coming out. <laughs> Not what we wanted to see. We're going to have to really utilize Lele here to deal with that Evaltal, hopefully, and hope that it's not a salt vest. Right, let's protect Tap Mewtwo and get Groudon in. Mm. Depends what kind of build this Evaltal is as well. So you kind of wish again that we had Ice Beam on Mewtwo. Maybe it is the better choice. I don't know. I don't know. I do like Shadow Ball on it though, for utility. But at the same time, this last two matches, we felt like mm, maybe Ice Beam has been something that we could have utilized a little bit better. But we'll get Groudon and get the sun up. Just protect. We'll see where this Incineroar goes. It's probably going to fake out, I'd imagine. Sucker Punch. Ah, huh? okay. And Flare Blitz. Ugh. It's not really what we would kind of would be hoping for. Groudon taking that pretty decently. Not amazingly though. Um, okay. I think we need to get Tapu Lele back onto the field for Mewtwo. Problem is if we see, yeah, and I think let's go for the Tectonic Rage into the Incineroar slot with Groudon. I don't think the Veltal, unless it's got a Z-move, can take Groudon down from this position. So we, we should reliably be able to get rid of that Incineroar. And then of course when the Corkle comes back in, we're going to have to kind of rejig things maybe a little bit to get our electric train, uh, Psychic Train back up. We're going to see the Corkle come in. Oh, hopefully it's not sashed. I'm going to see another Sucker Punch. Snarl. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Hmm. It's probably going to be an assault vest, Evalto, I'd imagine. I mean, we've got utility of knockoff here, so. Hmm. And it's super obvious to bring Mewtwo now on that Tapu Lele slot. But we don't really need the Psychic so much, the Psychic Terrain, other than for the Fake Out and the Sucker Punch. Hmm. But what's a Moonblast going to do to Evaltal? Probably not very much. It's definitely got foul play, so it's going to try and, I would say, target down that Groudon. Right. <clears throat> Let's go Moonblast. Could my opponent take both things? They can't take both things down here, I don't think. The Groudon, big threat for the Incineroar. It's not really causing to Evaltal too many problems. So the, the Lele is the one thing that I would see probably targeting. So we maybe get a, a, a switch into Mewtwo here. From Groudon. Just to reset the Intimidate. But it might be worth just keeping Groudon in and just go on Precipice Blades, to be honest. Let's Moonblast Precipice Blades. Can I lock it in? I don't think I can. We're just going for a Protect. Oh, with Groudon. It's not going to be good. Okay. No. Fake out. Okay. Let's see what damage we get into this Evaltal. Oh, it's decent damage. We can get it the next turn. Okay, the Snarl coming out. Hopefully, Lele sticks around. That's what we want. <sighs> okay. Then we can get the Evaltal now, but we've got to worry about the Sucker Punch for sure. Um, which will probably take Lele down, I would imagine. 
You're gonna go for it though, I think. Um, okay, let's get Mewtwo in for Lele. And let's go Precipice Blades into that Incineroar and just get some damage off onto it. Because if we can get Lele and Mewtwo back onto the field, we can Moonblast in Aurora Sphere. As long as we've got damage onto that Incineroar, the Aurora Sphere should be enough. Just getting the Mewtwo in and hopefully my opponent going for the Sucker Punch. Okay, it's the Oblivion Wing. It's gonna be into Groudon. No, it's into Mewtwo. Okay. You're getting a little bit of health back, so it does help with that Moonblast. Pesper's it's, it's not I don't think minus one will be enough to get this. This Incineroar, but you gotta hope that it goes for the the Groudon here. And not the Mewtwo. Yeah. Okay. So the Incineroar should be in range. Uh huh. Berry isn't great. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close with the Roar Sphere. Um hmm. Hmm. I think we double up. Oh no, we can't afford to. If we need to. Yeah, let's get let's get the Incineroar and Moonblast. And hopefully if we can take down the Incineroar, we should be able to close this one up with, with either Lele or Mewtwo against the Veltal. It might go Snarl here. Maybe. I don't know. So Moonblast. It's not going to be enough to take it down, but I'll do a good chunk to it. It's a critical hit. It's not. Oh, I guess we're not Snarl this time around. So, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Hopefully this should be enough now to take down the Incineroar. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There we go, guys. Me too, Lele. I didn't need any help. What was I worrying about? <laughs> okay. Good game to my opponent. Um, I didn't expect the Moonblast to take it down from the previous damage, but then yes, we were snarled, weren't we? So that's why it did a little bit less the previous turn. So that Moonblast picking up the KO and we got that end ball position that we wanted. So there we go. Very good game to my opponent. Nice way for us to kick off, even though it was a little bit shaky to start with. We got to see a Selgor as well, which is always good. So we'll go straight into our next one and see if we can get... Uh, Continue this, because two wins today would be great, and then we'll probably play Mewtwo once more tomorrow, and then we'll play a different team Thursday and a different team Friday. And what they will be, I will leave as a surprise to finish us up this week. So, let's see how we can do. But Mewtwo, doing work again, once again. That Aurora Sphere on Incineroar is ridiculously strong, isn't it? It's just crazy strong. It always surprises me the amount of damage it can do. It really does. But I do think mm, maybe Ice Beam is the is the play there. I don't know, over Shadow Ball. I really do. It does leave you kind of a lot weaker against Lunala and Sogaleo, Duskmane, lots of other things. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an next opponent. If it does, I will cut straight to it, guys. So we'll come straight back when we find someone. So so we finally have our next opponent of the episode. I've been searching around back and forward for about four cycles. We can't find an opponent, but we finally found one, so we'll get straight into it, guys, because you don't want to hear me completely. Right, our next opponent is playing a team of Groudon, Eveltal, Tapakoko, Venusaur, and Incineroar, and Stack Attacker. So it's a very early kind of Moon Series build here, uh, one that I really do have a lot of love for. Um, probably seen the Assault Vest on the Eveltal, Tectonic Rage, uh, Z-Move on the Groudon, possibly on the Coco. Got to be a bit wary about the Venusaur, obviously, with the, the Chlorophyll ability, boosting its speed in the sun. Stack Attack are going to be the Trick Room Mon that probably supports things like the Groudon a bit more, and then the Incineroar as well, that support there. So, what are we going to do? Uh, I think, probably... Hmm... Yeah, we're going to have to make use of Tapu Lele and Mewtwo here. But we have to be a bit very careful with that in s that Eveltal. Um, obviously, the sleep from the Venusaur is a bit of a pain as well. I mean, we could lead Venusaur Groudon for a little bit of a change. Um, it might be nice. The Venusaur is going to do a lot of work here as well. Uh, we'd have to worry about the Incineroar a little bit. So bringing our own Incineroar isn't too bad. And then we could potentially bring Mewtwo or Tapu Lele. Uh, I don't really want to bench Mewtwo though. But... It can deal with a lot of the things on this team pretty well. Though it's psychic terrain now, it isn't going to be as effective, but we'll bring it along anyway for the ride. 
So let's get into it. Good luck to my opponent. I feel a bit sad we're not bringing Tapulele to this one. But we can only bring four Pokemon at a time, and it'd be nice to see the other kind of side of the team with the Venusaur and the Groudon performing there. So I do feel like Venusaur has a good time in this matchup, particularly. I'm going to be careful with that Incineroar, of course, but just having the fast Sleep Powder does really help us. So I'm going to see my opponent lead off with Incineroar and Eveltal. I mean, we probably want to double protect this first turn. Uh, just to get around the fake out, which is really obvious. Um, but, and my opponent could pivot out, but I mean, we're stopping kind of any pivot and out from the Incineroar, could hard switch, so that's the thing. Um, bring in Venusaur of their own. Um, but we've kind of got to hope that the Veltal's not safety goggles, because that would be a little bit of a problem. And that's what we want to try and go for the next turn. Yeah, um, I think we have to fake out this turn. We could potentially just go for a Tectonic Rage into the Incineroar slot. Thinking that they would fake out the Venusaur. But the Protect there is so obvious. Um, do we push a look? We were greedy earlier in the week, weren't we? So maybe we don't get so greedy now because we did pay for it. And we'll just protect. We'll just be safe. Safe, safe, safe. I could see the Venusaur coming in from my opponent now, though. That's the only thing. No switches, though. We're just going to see it protect from Venu and protect from Groudon. We'll see what this Evaltal does. Watch it launch a, a tailwind here. There's the fake out. It's the Groudon slot. Okay. Tailwind. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Venusaur will be faster than the Incineroar though, so that's a thing. But I, I'm more concerned about this Eveltal, so I want to put that to sleep. Um, and I'm going to launch the Z-Move into Incineroar now. Even though we will be slower than it. Hopefully we don't see a double up into Groudon. I think you've got to be a bit more concerned about the Venusaur though, over anything else. Incineroar switching out, so whatever comes in there is going to take big damage, which is the Groudon. Okay. It's fine. Knock off to Venusaur. Yeah. Take us down to our Sash, which is fine. Like, we don't mind that. We have to take some damage at some point. And get the Sleep Powder into the Eveltal. Shut it down, which is always good. Yeah. And unless that that Groudon's max speed, Venusaur should still outspeed it. Well, it doesn't need to be max speed. It needs to be faster than what modest max speed Venusaur is. So... In this build, I'm not really too sure if it will be, honestly. But we do have to worry about a potential Z-move into that slot as well, because if that Groudon's got the, the Z-move, then it can totally just launch it into Venusaur right now. But I mean, without the Incineroar support on the field, we can just Grass Knot it. I think, um, and I'm going to take this opportunity to sword stance with Groudon. It's a little risky in front of Eveltal, especially if Foul plays something that the Eveltal has access to, but we are minus one at the minute, so it's only putting us on to plus one, um, and the Fire Punch will be a lot more effective against it going into the next turn. I think one of the things that we'll probably see now is a Groudon switch out, and Sinner will come back in, and... Um, yeah, so I'm going to switch Incineroar in for Venus, or keep it around for later. And I'm going to throw out a Fire Punch into the Uveltal. I need to get some damage onto it, so we've got at least something we can do with Venusaur later on in the game, or if Mewtwo comes in, or, or even Incineroar can, can snipe it. Just got to hope the Groudon doesn't stay on the field now. I'm kind of expecting it to switch out, even in the Tailwind. Yeah, okay. Incineroar will come back in. Yeah. <clears throat> Nivelto could wake up now. Yeah, it stays asleep. Okay. I'm hoping this Fire Punch puts it in range for maybe a Flare Blitz to take it down, because it's not going to be the bulkiest. Ah, it's still pretty bulky. Um, We could go for another Sword Stance here. Push your luck, try and get a Sword Stance off. Um, I 
I'm just going to fake out the Veltal. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to pivot out with Incineroar. Onto the opposing Incineroar. Um, no, actually, I don't. I'm going to pivot out onto the Eveltal, get some extra damage off onto it. I don't see it protecting here. I think it goes for another Tailwind. And I'm just going to Soul Stance again with Groudon, try and put us back to plus two. Make us super threatening. Incineroar switching straight out again. We're going to see Groudon come back in. Okay. I guess my opponent's probably trying, hoping they wake up this turn. Get the Tailwind up, get that Groudon set up. But at the same time, we can get the Sword Stance off now. And get our Venusaur back in. Yeah, the three turn sleep here is a little bit unfortunate for my opponent. But at the same time, it can happen. It can happen. Um... Yeah, get Venusaur back in. Because I don't need to keep Venusaur out. It pressures the ground on enough for the Incineroar to have to come back in for my opponent. Um, although the sun does fade, which is <laughs> the worst timing possible. So uh, I, I'll switch Incineroar back in now. And I'm going to go for the Fire Punch. Uh, ooh. Do I? Or just... I think maybe protect ground on this turn. It's likely to see the Incineroar come back in on that slot for my opponent. But they might call this and say, oh well, Incineroar will probably come back in for me now with the sun gone. So they could launch a Tectonic Rage into that slot or just Precipice Blades. But as long as Incineroar sticks around this turn, we should be alright going into the next one. Let's go for the knockoff. It's into Incineroar. Is that going to be enough with Precipice Blades to pick up the knockout? I'm going to see the Z move, yeah. to Incineroar, I'd imagine, to pick up the knockout there. Oh, it's into Groudon. Okay. Incineroar survives to stick around another day. Okay, so we've got the fake out. Um, I think I pivot out again. Mm. U turn. I want to get rid of this Eveltal because the thing with the Eveltal is it's it's making it so I can't bring in my Mewtwo. So I'm going to U-turn and Fire Punch the Eveltal. I hope it goes for a Tailwind. We've got enough. Ah, it protects. No! Does Groudon protect? Yeah, okay. Hmm. There's a part of me that's thinking, can we U-turn out on our own Groudon? But, hmm. No. Okay. And my opponent knows how much we want to chase down the Eveltal. I think, though, what we'll do is we'll, we'll still U turn out on Eveltal, um, and I'm just going to press Blades this time. Because a plus two will get the Groudon. It will definitely get the Incineroar if it comes in as well. And it kind of gives our Incineroar a little bit of protection. Okay, Groudon switching out. Tapu Coco coming in. Huh. Okay. Do not mind that. And with the Groudon switching out as well, that's perfect because my opponent has to bring the sun back at some point. There's a tailwind. Yeah. And hopefully Groudon's got his goggles on. Come on. Oh, I hate you, Groudon. You are the worst Groudon in the world of Groudons. <laughs> ah, every time. What I mean, but what do you expect? What do you expect? God damn it. <laughs> mm. Right, okay, the tailwind's up. I think now what we'll do is we'll bring in the Cinero. Um I really worry about the Coco having Grass Knot, which it probably will have, which is the most frustrating thing about this whole thing because um, I don't want to be doubled into by the Eveltal and Coco this turn. So we'll just bring an Incineroar. It's going to be a slog this one to finish off. It really didn't help, but it happens, doesn't it? We've got to deal with it. It's what you have to deal with. If you decide to play a Precipice Blades, you've got to take the consequences. Okay, so we'll protect Groudon here. 
There's the grass knot, of course. And then knock off. Oh, into Incineroar once again. That's fine now. Okay. Can you just see her? Uh, I'm gonna fake it. Gotta fire punch that Iveltal to get rid of it. That's the big thing. That's so frustrating. Like, I wanna fake out the Coco, but I feel like it protects here anyway. I feel like we'll probably see a double protect, to be honest. Um. But I don't want to risk it. I don't want to take too much unnecessary damage onto Groudon. And so I'm just going to fake out the Coco, Fire Punch, the Veltal. I need to see how these Tailwind turns, so. Yeah, I mean, switches out. Yeah, Groudon coming back in. The sun is up now. So if we can get rid of the Veltal, it gives Venus a way easier time to kind of help close this game down for us. Okay, the Veltal going out, Incineroar coming in. Now this makes it difficult for us to manoeuvre going into the next turn for sure. I mean our Groudon is still plus one. And the Fire Punch, plus one. I mean it still does, it's not shabby damage at all is it? Um, just a Precipice Blades. Could we bring in Mewtwo now? Could we bring in Mewtwo? Because the tier one will end this next turn. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, the tier one ends. Let's protect Groudon, bring in Mewtwo. If my opponent doubles it and we lose Mewtwo, then it gives us a free switch into either Incineroar or Venusaur. The sun's up, tail wind will have ended, so we're sitting in a way better position. I don't think my opponent wants to leave the Incineroar out on the field right now, but you probably have to take advantage of the fake out here, which is the one thing that we've got going for us to, to keep that Incineroar out. No fake out though, just Precipice Blades, probably P Blades and a U turn into. Yeah, we're probably going to lose Mewtwo, unfortunately. So U turn probably. Oh, Flare Blitz. Oh, it's into Groudon. Hmm, okay. That's interesting. Well, well, well. Let's go Side Strike into the Groudon, and let's go Precipice Blades into the Incineroar. We probably see the Veltal switch out. On the Incineroar slot, that's the only thing that I would think. Maybe why we probably could have went for Fire Punch or Sphere, because you probably see the Groudon protect my opponent's side now. But as long as Mewtwo's around this next turn, we've got a chance to maybe snipe the Veltal with a potential. Yeah, okay. Just a dead turn. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Electric train does disappear. I wonder if a plus, like, well, it won't be life orbed Aurora Sphere will be enough to get the Veltal. Regardless, I'm gonna fire punch. Oh, we leave the, the Groudon in check though, that's the problem. By not Precipice Blading. Yeah, I'm gonna Precipice Blade just to try and, we should, like, a plus one will get the, the opposing Groudon. Um, and just gotta hope that a life orb Aurora Sphere will be enough to get. Okay, I'm going to see Incineroar come back in. That's fine. Glad I'm going to go out. As long as we can get our Precipice Blades here, we should take the Incineroar down from this range. be interesting to see what this damage is like. It's neutral, remember? Life Orbed. It's not quite enough. Does see the Tailwind, though. So we've got one more Tailwind to see out, which we can do. Especially if we get rid of the Incineroar here. We do hit! Yay! Do it. Bye-bye, Incineroar. So we are whittling my opponent down slowly, but surely. Now the Groudon probably comes back in. Yeah. And we get... I mean, one thing we could potentially do is double protect here. I just worry if that Groudon's got Sword Stance, though. That's the thing. Um, yeah, we could double protect, then switch in Incineroar the next turn. Get the Eveltal. 
Um, yeah, I think that's probably a better way to do it. Like, just buy the time a little bit here. And just double protect. And see what my opponent's going to do. Okay. And then the next turn we get in Cinema and like we're saying. And then the next turn we got Fake Out Support. Okay. Potentially, if Incineroar can get through the next turn, depends how this Groudon has been trained. Right, so we get Incineroar in, we'll go for the Fire Punch into the Eval Tool. It's got to be feeling like a little bit scared of the, um, the, the Groudon right now. And with the Intimidate, we're going to be able to take at least a Precipice from this opposing ground on a lot easier. Knock off. Yep. Yep. Uh, and Sonora doesn't take it, which is a little bit of a shame. Now, I think Venusaur is the thing that can win this game for us, especially against this type of Coco ground on. So we need to maneuver. A way for us to get the sun back up because that is going to be a win con for us. Right. And I can't switch Venusaur in. So I'm going to have to bring Venusaur in now. Switch Groudon out to Mewtwo, sack Mewtwo to get Groudon in with the sun up. probably will be able to tell that I'm gonna do this but it's the uh, only way we can beat the the the, the cold call because with grass knot it can deal with the ground on pretty easily that press of his blades miss earlier on coming back to bite us in the butt right now because if that cold call had just been hit on the switch in we would we well we'd close this one up but like I say it's one of those things isn't it you just gotta adapt to it and help me two goals down here because we, we need that switch in the next turn yeah. Sorry, Mewtwo. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Mewtwo. But then, then we've got this awkward 50-50 guessing game now, which we have to we have to go for. Which isn't ideal. <sighs> and help a sludge bomb's enough to get the cocoa. That's the thing. Uh, that's what we're kind of banking on right now. Uh, yeah. Hope the Groudon protects. Hope the Coco. Or do we protect? Because if we get the Sludge Bomb into the Coco, then the Groudon takes down our Venusaur. Uh, no, I think we just gotta we just gotta press this, but we just gotta attack here. Yeah. I hope this is enough to get the Coco. Come on. Be enough, be enough, be enough. Yes, it's enough to get the Coco. Hopefully Groudon can hang on and not take too much damage from a press of his blades. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if our press of his blades will be enough to take down the opposing Groudon. If it is, we can win. Come on, Groudon. Do this for the team. Do it. Come on. Ah. Oh. Heartache. And the opposing Groudon, I think, is faster than us, unless it's a speed tie. Um, oh. Let's just fire punch. It's more reliable. Ooh, we might take this, you know. No. That is sad. That is sad, isn't it? That is sad. We couldn't have done anything but target the Corco there. Um, because we need to take it down. We could have targeted the Groudon as well, but then it leaves the Coco open to take... Well, that would be the way to do it, really, wouldn't it? So we Grass Knot the Groudon. I just feel like that is the one thing that would protect there. Um, but we Grass Knot the Groudon. Then the next turn, if the Coco takes down our, our Groudon. But it may, it may have went for a Dazzle there to take down the Venusaur if we targeted the Groudon. Um, yeah, I don't know. We could have possibly won with a different 
with a different with a different end game there, but at least it was a, a slog. I think the big thing was all to remember was that precipice blades miss on the coco switching. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> but we gotta deal with that. But that is the end of the episode, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back with another episode tomorrow with more Mewtwo action, so it will be a lot of fun. So have a great day, whatever you're up to. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.